but this one is like bam. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's all about the red lips. So I have five products. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title this video. Like they're my favorite red lip products, but they're also the most comfortable, the ones where you don't have to worry about them type of products. Again, we'll figure out the wording. These lip products are so comfortable, like I just said. They just glide on the lips. Two of them are stain proof, and one in particular is super hard to remove. So you will not have to worry about them throughout the day or the night. If you wanna know my personal favorites? Keep watching. Usually in these types of videos, I like to go from the least expensive to the most expensive, but since all of these lip products are quite hard to remove, we're gonna go from the easier to remove to it getting harder and harder as we go on. This one is the ColourPop Glossy Lip Stain in Big Apple. There are eight shades. There are a few other red tones, but this one is more of a cool tone. I know lip stains have been super popular this year and only recently I've been jumping into it, but this one is so comfortable. It's the thinnest out of all the ones that I'll be talking about today and it just feels like nothing because I feel like a lot of the times when you wear a red lip, you just feel it you know and you know it's there and you're very self-conscious about it but this one you don't have to be so i think you could either do something like where you just put it in the center kind of like this or you do the full pigment and really make your lips pop you know what's interesting about this lip stain it feels very wet and kind of cold as if you're putting water on your lips that is so pretty and if you don't want it to be glossy you can just use a little tissue and pat your lips and have it look more lived in which i think that's perfect for a holiday party because you're eating, you're drinking. So just throughout the day, it will just slowly start to fade, but it will never completely disappear. This particular shade makes my teeth look so white. Like, look how white my teeth look. Anywho, let's do the blotting technique so I can show you what that looks like. So yes, it does transfer since it's a stain, but it still looks really beautiful, even though the gloss finish is gone. I've had this particular product in my cart for almost a year now, and I finally purchased it. It's the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipstick in Inspire. It's a bright red. I love Brave so much. I wear that shade quite a lot throughout the years, and I've been dying to get Inspire. This is so comfortable, so pillowy. I don't typically like matte lip products, but this one just changes the game. There's just something about this product that makes it so special. One, my lips look so good. This does not emphasize any of the dryness, cracks, or whatever, but my lips just look so pillowy soft, and they feel pillowy soft. So although this does transfer, it is so comfortable. And I think this formula makes everyone's lips look beautiful. I'm trying to think, I just got my dress for a holiday party that I'll be attending next week that I'll also be filming and like vlogging and whatnot. But I don't think I wanna wear red, unfortunately, just because the dress is red. And I kinda wanna go for more of a sparkly lip if I can find one in time. But if I wasn't wearing a red dress, I think I'd be wearing this one. There's just something special about this one. Next we have is a two fur. These are both from NYX. This is the Line Loud Vegan Longwear Lip Liner for $8 in Rebel Red. And then the corner one to that is the Shine Loud Vegan High Shine Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Rebel Red. So this is a warm red. This lasts so long. I've talked about these products before individually. I think the liner this past year and then the liquid lipstick the year before that. Paired together, so good. If you're really into lip liners, definitely check these out. I definitely think this is a really great, affordable, long-wearing lip liner. Very soft, very pigmented, as you can see. That's the lip liner. I'm moving on to the liquid lip. Just going to wait for this to set, and then I'll put on the topper. Nothing, guys. So now to the topper. It's just a clear gloss. If you want ultra shine. Get this one. With this one, my lips look like candy. Of course, the topper will fade, but you can always reapply throughout the night. But this one is like, bam. But do be careful if you get some of the gloss like down here. Just kind of keep that in mind since it is like a high shine topper. But besides that, you are good to go. That next one is the hardest to remove. And what I've been using is this. I don't even know if e.l.f. still sells it, but it's, I'm not sure what it's called. On here it says Darkening Black Star. It's basically a lip remover. So if you don't want to mess up your whole entire makeup and just your lips, 
um, you just use something like this. I will have it linked down below if it's still available. And the last lip rub product we have is the Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lip Color. In shade Royal, this is a deeper red. Now there are other red shades if you prefer something else. So they just recently expanded this. I did not try this out when it first came out, but I'm so glad that I got two of these. The other shade is lighter. I guess it's kind of in the red family, but this is so comfortable. It's a satin finish, and this one is the darkest red that I'll be showing you today. Ooh, this one is so vampy. Definitely check out the other reds if you don't want something this dark, but man, is it comfortable. Now, I purposely didn't include the other Maybelline one that's super popular. I think it has over 20,000 reviews. I actually just got rid of it during the pandemic. It looks really beautiful. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll have it right up here. But what frustrates me with that lip product is that it's quite sticky. So every time my lips would be pressed together, they would get stuck. And I don't think people emphasize that enough because I don't think I would have gotten it knowing that. That one's matte, this one's a satin. I find this one just to be overall more comfortable. This one is slightly tacky, but not to the point where it annoys you, at least for me. See? Nothing on the fingers. This is perfect if you want a one and done. You would want the last two if you want something bulletproof. I hope you guys enjoy that roundup of my favorite red lip products. Rock that red. You're going to look so good, so confident. Happy holidays. I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye!